Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This reading's for Virgo. It's for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Virgo reading uh, whenever they're guided to see it. It's for November 2022, but as always, it could resonate later on or at a different time. What do we need to know about this reading for Virgo? Anyone with Virgo placements? Or, whoa, a whole stack fell out. And what's in, on top of the stack? The Wheel of Fortune. So you might have a new cycle coming in here, Virgo, which a lot of people do right now with Saturn returning to uh, its forward movement. There's a lot of planets leveling out that have been in retrograde for a long time. What do we need to know about this reading, please, for Virgo? Okay, excellent. So we have the hanged man. We have the death in reverse. So something that's been stuck feels to me, yeah, absolutely, exactly what I was just going to say. Feels to me like it's about to move forward. What is the central issue here? The central issue on the Virgo reading. What is central issue? Queen of coins. I almost said queen of cups, but um, and like I really wanted to say it, even though I visually could see it was the queen of coins. So I feel like... Um, the person you're dealing with could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, let me keep going here. This person also comes through in this Capricorn, I mean, can and now this could also be your energy. So Virgo, if you are a Virgo, in fact, this is most likely your energy, um, you could also have strong uh, water placements, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're dealing with someone who has them because I so badly wanted to call her the Queen of Queens. <laughs> All right, let me keep, I mean the Queen of Cups. All right, let me keep going here. What else do we need to know for this Virgo reading? What's most important here? So Virgo, something that's been stuck or Virgo cross watchers, whoever I'm speaking to, something that's been stuck is going to start moving forward. I really do believe that. I, I believed that from the very, yeah, something that's been, see how this person's like, I can't hold on any longer. Like this has got to start moving forward. Knight of Wands, because we've been completely stuck, death reverse, and at one time the hangman. But now the hangman's in the upright, enlightened, and ready to move forward. I feel like this is so important because um, as soon as I saw the, as soon as I saw these two, I felt that, and then this one came out to confirm it. So this has been a long time coming forward movement. This has been you could have been in hangman state for a very long time. Um, this is my timing card: seven weeks, seven months, even seven years, right? Um, let's get a little more information here. Monthly reading, November 2022, Virgo reading. Whoa, just one or two at a time. M November 2022, Virgo reading. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? This is the Ms. Cleo deck. Very cute, very interactive deck. We've got the devil, the lovers reversed, and the eight of cups. Wow. All right. So that's interesting. Again, this would you would not be the first ones this month that are releasing like old karmic contracts between no, they don't have to be karmic, but binding agreements between you and other people. Wow, this is beautiful because you're set accepting in new opportunities. Absolutely. So look, if something's been unbalanced in your life, I feel like you're going to have new opportunities come in. Um, look at this, how beautiful it is. The new opportunity is going to be something you really want. It's wish fulfillment and it's very happy. I look at like, like you're going to accept it. Knight of Coins right there. Now, if you're making the offer to another person and you're hoping that they're going to accept it, oh, they're going to look at the hand coming out and saying, yes, I accept. Uh, wish fulfillment. Very, very happy energy. Beautiful. What a way to come in, especially if, like I said, um, this has been like a... Like this has been a new beginning you've waited for um, and something that you've waited a long time for. Um, and whatever this is, it also allows you to leave behind something from the past. Just like someone else had the same exact energy come through. I want to say it was, could it have been, I want to say it was 
could have been Taurus, but it might have been Capricorn. I'm not sure. Maybe they've all been like this for the air sign. I mean, the earth signs. Um, it's something that you really felt stuck in, stuck in some kind of a partnership or contract. Somebody had this exact same energy. I swear I think it was Taurus. Like I'm bound to this contract for this longest time. It's practically broken my back. But now guess what? I'm free. I'm free to move on. And I'm free to accept new opportunities in my life. Same exact energy, I swear to you. You guys have to check it out. Now, it definitely was another earth sign. I think it was Taurus. Let's keep moving here and find out what, what we need to know here. Because something's about to bust free and start moving forward for you uh spirit and angels anyone for and you know it might just be your own energy that now you're ready to move on from the past and that is very very possible that you've been you know for a long time you waited and now you're really ready to move on from the past or you're gonna be ready very soon spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who's guided to see it it is the virgo reading it's for anyone with virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the virgo reading you have here um you have here aries leo sagittarius capricorn and scorpio and gemini um and your energy of course of you know virgo and I'm just giving you those signs. You do not have to apply them. Of course, they will not all resonate with every person. Uh, they don't have to resonate with you at all. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this Virgo reading? What's most important? What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages? One more shuffle. Virgo reading for anyone who's guided. All right, great. Let's take a look at the Queen of Coins. I believe strongly that's your energy. Nine of Pentacles came out as a challenge, getting up into this really high vibration of independence. Um, let me take a little look at this. Or it could be that you are so independent that it's hard for another person to come in and make an offer to you. Um, let me get a little look at this. Um, let me look at the King of Cups reversed. What about the King of Cups reversed? Or it could be, you know, like I said, Virgo, if this isn't you, it could be someone around you, uh, possible Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Tell me about the King of Cups reversed here. What about it? Same thing. This person could be someone around you or you. Just way too many. Could we just do one or two, please? King of Cups in the reverse. What's important? Virgo reading. Ten of Wands. All right, so this is somebody who's carrying a lot of burdens, right? Um, he's here, he's drained, he's got a lot of burdens, and he could also be a she, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And look, burdens over here and burdens over here. This is somebody who's been carrying around the weight of the world. All right, tell me about the Seven of Cups here. What do we need to know? Seven of Cups. Yeah, whoo, that, that journey is over. Listen, Virgo, if you've been carrying around, sometimes the King of Cups could be a lot of emotions. If you've been carrying around a lot of emotions or just too many burdens or doing all the work in a situation, in a partnership, something here, it's done. It's over. It's about time. You're done with this. This is something you're not going to have to deal with anymore. You're not going to be doing all the work anymore. This is the... Um, page of pentacles they call it the princess of pentacles in this particular deck and see how she's like working for her money it's been reversed so if you weren't getting paid properly or you weren't now this could be you or like i said a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um that's coming in um you could be the one offering or you could be the one accepting because i see virgo back here being the one giving right here so if you're a Virgo, you're offering, you are going to be so, like if you're offering and you're hoping this person's going to accept, oh, they will. And if you're um, the one accepting, you will, right? Somebody here's accepting something, but it's also an opportunity to no longer, I mean, we're at tens here everywhere. Nine, 10, 10, world. I mean, this is, and death, death is in reverse though. So I want to take a little peek at that. I want to look at the hangman 
in the reverse with the death in reverse because they are um, they're opposite each other because the hangman here is stuck but this hand hangman is not stuck they're uh, well not always stuck sometimes they go within to get enlightened right death is stuck when it's reverse it's almost like you are done with that let's look at the knight of stabs um in the upright here can we get a look at um Knight of Stabs, just the Knight of Stabs. What do we need to know? So the Knight of Stabs in this deck is the Knight of Wands in other decks. Knight of Stabs, what's important? There's some kind of forward movement happening here. Virgo reading, what do we need to know about the Knight of Stabs, please? Yeah, clarity. Woo, clarity. Talk about clarity. You got the Seven of Cups reverse there and the Queen of Swords at the bottom there. Lots of clarity. It's been a long time coming with the Seven of Pentacles again. It's whatever's going on, if you were stuck because you didn't understand something or you didn't know what to do about something or you felt stuck in something or it just is you weren't sure what to do about something, that's going to be done too. You're going to get some kind of clarity. It's been a long time coming and it's going to help you move forward. All right, let's look at... Um, Let's look at the Eight of Cups, because it, what the Eight of Cups is, is all about what we're needing to leave behind as we move forward into our new cycle. Tell me about the Eight of Cups here. What is this about? Yeah, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. No more Wounded Warrior. No more needing to heal for swords. Whatever happened to you, you've healed from this. You've gone through some kind of a healing situation. Tell me about, um, I want to get a good look at um, the Hangman Reverse and the Death Card Reverse. Both of them Reverse. Hangman Reverse, Death Card Reverse. What is it? It's like, no, that's way too many. Could we just get one Hangman Reverse, Death Card Reverse? Could we get one or two, please? nine of cups reverse so something that you felt was very disappointing is what's held you back something about your disappointments have held you back and we can see that here where the disappointments have weighed you down we can see that here where the disappointments have helped made you have to protect yourself um, we see that here where it went on a long time and now the world's finally coming in but guess what when this comes in it's coming in with joy and happiness and wish fulfillment and some kind of offer that's coming forward that you thought wasn't coming or you thought you couldn't have. Tell me about um, what's releasing is this disappointment? What's releasing are these uh, burdens, clarity, lack of movement? It's all gone. This is all done. No more. Tell me about the lover's reverse here. What is this about? Lover's reverse for Virgo. Yeah, the Knight of Cups reverse. Listen, if you felt rejected, if you felt sad, if you felt unwanted, unloved, or if you thought this offer was never coming, I feel like it's coming in. It's just been on hold. Two of Wands here. I don't know why somebody needed clarity. Somebody needed to understand something. Somebody needed the actual offer to come in. I'm not sure what this is. Tell me about the devil. Somebody was holding back in some way. Tell me about the devil. Yeah, there it is. New beginning. I kid you not. You could be having a new beginning with a Capricorn or any of the other signs. I've, uh, Capricorn or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio come through the strongest for you as somebody that you will have a new beginning with. Um, Why the devil, though? Why is the devil here with the Ace of Wands? I feel like it's just something you really, really want that you've been waiting for or holding off on or uh, holding back from. If not you, them. Eight of Swords reversed. No more holding back. Mm -mm. Something you've been in your head about. This is all leaving. This, also, this actually came out as a challenge on its side. Uh, I feel like this has been a challenge for you. Like this mental anxiety has kept you 
afraid to actually now if it's not you it's someone else around you whoever the person is that's offering could be you or could be a capricorn or a cancer pisces scorpio whoever this is that's coming in with this it's like this clarity comes in no more holding back no more fear of needing to protect myself no more uh holding back um, I don't know why this holding back went on so long. I want to look at the lovers reversed and the knight of cups reversed. What is this about? Virgo reading. Yeah, look, I kid you not. The eight of pentacles reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed. No one putting any effort in with lovers reversed and the knight of cups reversed no effort was put in and this is what the whole problem is so what now so are you releasing this and moving forward into something else because no effort was ever put in or is this that someone's going to finally stop not putting effort in and actually put effort in what is this about something's causing a change here Tell me about the world. Whatever was going on in this cycle is closing out because information's coming out. Okay, so this information or this clarity that comes in, clarity, clarity, helps someone move forward and end an old cycle. I mean, and it's beautiful. Tell me about Knight of Coins, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Tell me all about it. Knight, Knight of Coins, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful completion. Five of Swords came out. So this is the end of a time when somebody was going through a difficult time. Who were they going through this with? An injustice was done to somebody. Nine of Coins, King of Pentacles, Star Reverse. So some kind of injustice was being done here. And this is the end of something that was unjust and unfair. Um, let me get a little look at it. So, but it ends with such beautiful energy. What exactly is the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups? Wow, the hanged man reversed. Wow, no more. Look how long this person was still for so long they became an icicle. They put themselves in this uncomfortable position to see things from another perspective for so long that they became an icicle. Guess what? They're now enlightened. This is why we have this energy of we were like this, but we're about to change everything. Why? Because we've achieved the clarity we went within to get. And guess what? It's right here. We're releasing that stagnation because we've achieved some level of clarity from putting ourselves in this position we've now received the clarity we needed as the hermit and the ace of swords no more are we holding back no more are we gonna i don't know what this is about but i feel like the wish fulfillment really is the clarity that's come in and the fact that someone now can move forward i don't exactly know where they're moving to but I can tell you one thing, whatever's been stagnant and not working, we're not doing that anymore. There's a complete change happening here. What is the information? Well, this is the clarity. So I want one more on the world. Can we get one more card on the world here for Virgo? One more. The world. the world please what do we need to know about it the world ten of pentacles reversed as a challenge it's in the challenge position could so could this have been some kind of a battle over inheritance or money or family um clout or anything what is the ten of pentacles here we need to know what the ten of pentacles reversed as a challenge is here 
that's way too many could we have just let me just see what was here I saw that the block was here so let's look at this these all popped out normally I wouldn't take them all but I see the block with this the eight of wands reversed and the block is like people fighting over the pentacle so I do feel as though now could this be but it's coming to an end. This is done. So the this has been all about someone t trying to take advantage and someone seeing it. So if this is like a legal judgment or something, the right thing's going to be seen here. If this is about the Queen of Pentacles receiving her pentacles right there, because it's been a challenge, she's receiving her pentacles. Because look back here. If anybody was trying to take advantage, someone's going to see it with clarity. There's so much clarity coming into this reading and guess what they're paying because this was done uh, done unfairly and unjustly and this is going to be extreme wish fulfillment so uh i almost said gemini i don't know why but um virgo you have every potential to be the person coming through and telling someone hey i have your pentacles if you're like the boss or the person in charge or if this was an inheritance issue or whatever um uh, there's that, but also you could be the one receiving as well. So I don't know, you could even be the one that sees through the problem here and corrects it for yourself, right? It doesn't have to be for another person. But anyway, what I really see is something here. Um, I feel like there were people fighting over something. If this was career, it was over a position or money or something. I don't know exactly what this is, but I hope you guys will tell me. But there's 100% clarity coming in. Every, I mean, clarity is everywhere. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's everywhere here. This clarity is what's helping this close out and come to an end so that we can have this gorgeous new beginning. Um, there's tens, there's nines and tens everywhere in this reading. This is definitely done, and we are inviting in that Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know here, angels? What do we need to know? Virgo reading. Abundance, delight, beauty, and forgiveness. Wow, my God. Forgiveness, because I feel like something wasn't being looked at correctly or has to be looked at differently. Delight, somebody's going to be very, I'm telling you, when this comes in, it's like uh, somebody's dreams come in. Like hopes, wishes, and dreams show up on somebody's door. It's something that wasn't unfair gets made right. Beauty, delight, abundance. What is this one? Abundance is the happiest card in this deck, and right behind it is celebration. I'm telling you, when this happens for somebody, there is going to be a celebration because this has been a long time coming. I see it here multiple times um, that this was something that needed to go, needed to be dealt with correctly. Something's getting corrected. Something's being seen correctly. Something's being dealt with the right way. We're at tens, nines and tens, done, 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 done. Inviting in the new energy of the Ace of Pentacles and the world here and the Ace of Wands. It's it's just gorgeous. Anyway, guys, let me know what this is. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. It keeps me here doing what I'm doing right now. Anyway, if you guys would like to see them tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, your weekly readings will be out. Also, your Monday reading will be out. And also, you already have a weekend reading out there for the collective. So, tons of readings coming at you this weekend. I have been a working machine this week. So, I hope that you guys are going to enjoy all these readings. Um, please do comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. And don't forget to like the videos. It means so much. Thank you, guys. Bye.